Okay, so here's the basics of how to set up this blog using Weebly. So you went to Weebly.com and you created an account. Once you created an account, you probably got a splash screen that said, do you want to sell on your site? And hopefully you chose no and followed those directions. Um, if you chose no, you're going to get to a place where there's a theme. A theme is just like a basic template. It's going to have some images and kind of a layout that's already set up for you, and you can customize it later, but you're not building the site from total scratch. For this assignment, you're going to make a blog. So click a blog theme, and then go down until you find one that you think looks good. You can click view more themes, and other things start to show up that are good for creating blogs. So for me, I'm going to create, I don't know, I'm going to use this one right here, because I'm making a travel blog that looks kind of travel-y. Oh, man, it's a world traveler blog. So it's set up for me to customize to my liking. And so now that I'm ready to customize, I'm going to hit Start Editing. And when I start editing my site, what you will need to do is go back to the actual assignment that you're working on and check to figure out which pages specifically you need to make. You're going to start with Register a New Domain, and you're going to click Use a Subdomain of Weebly. This makes it free because it's going to be whatever, whatever, whatever dot Weebly dot com. So I'm going to do like... Um, Virtual Traveler CMS. Does that work? There we go. Virtual Traveler CMS. That's going to be my domain. None of you can use it because I just took it. Boom. All right. Now, there's some little help things that might pop up that show you how to um, do some different things on Weebly. It'd be a really good idea to follow these, especially if you're not feeling 100% confident. There's some pop ups that show up that show you how to get content on your site. But for the purpose of just setting up your site, what you need to do is delete all the content that isn't yours, which is, well, it's everything. So on here, we're going to delete this content, or you can change the names of this content. So I could have also changed those names instead of deleting them. But either way, I'm going to go through and I'm going to delete all the content that doesn't relate to me. So like this background of this dude, I'm going to need to say edit background. And I have to replace with a different image that's, that's like my own, not this dude. Um, delete all this stuff. And then I'm going to go to the different pages. And once I get to those pages, other than the home page, I'm going to take these pages, I'm going to delete what's already there. So I'm going to delete the existing pages other than my home page. I'm going to delete them. So I'm going to leave my home page alone. Delete, delete, delete. Delete every stock page. And then I'm going to hit the plus icon to make new pages. And I'm going to make two new blog pages, or two or three new blog pages, depending on which class you're doing this for. Go back and check the requirements on the assignment on Canvas to figure out what exactly you need to name your pages. But they need to be blog pages and give them a proper name and then you'll hit done so and the name for this page will be in the assignment on canvas so make the required amount of pages make sure they're blog pages and then go ahead and publish your site and follow the requirements on canvas to finish up this assignment